I don't know if my orgasms are deeper and better than yours, which is why it's so much more important to me and why I prioritize it, but mine feel really, really good. Everyone loves to laugh, and you're no exception. So join us as we sit down with this multi-talented comedian, Spencer Rice. Hi, I'm Veronica of WatchMojo.com, and today we get to ask this producer, writer, actor about his mockumentary, Confessions of a Porn Addict, and his other comedy productions. My name is uh, Mark Tobias. I'm 35 years old, and uh, I watch a lot of porn. Can you tell us about your mockumentary, Confessions of a Porn Addict? It's a story about a, a guy who has a, um, let's just say, an issue with pornography and is a serial masturbator. It basically destroys his life. And he decides that when he gets into a legal problem because of it, that he's going to make a documentary about his porn addiction in the hopes that the judge will be more lenient with him. And in the course of making the documentary, we find out some things about him and his personal life that lead him on a journey to Los Angeles, to the heart of the porn industry in the San Fernando Valley, to basically rescue his wife, who has become a porn star. And what inspired these confessions? I wanted to make a romantic comedy that was set in a most unromantic world, which is obviously pornography. So that was sort of the, the seed of the concept. And uh, it just seemed really natural to do the mock documentary uh, format uh, for budgetary reasons and just because it was really organic to the material. We used real people, real porn people. Rob Black plays himself in the movie. For those who don't know who Rob Black is, he is probably one of the world's most pernicious pornographers. Extreme, 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 cock, cock, cocky. How was it to play someone with this type of addiction? Well, it would be slightly disingenuous for me to say that I had no experience with pornography. Uh, but I certainly wasn't a porn addict. Okay, I'm turning on the <clears throat> movie. Checking the menu out. And I'm starting. <laughs> it's interesting material. Uh, it's, there's a lot of uh, room for humor in it. I find sex to be somewhat taboo and pornography to be taboo, which the comedian in me wants to exploit as much as possible. When did you realize that you were funny? I was a, a blues musician, actually. I picked the only form of music where women didn't come to the shows. It was just a bunch of drunk men. I looked around at my family, who are all hilarious. And uh, so there was just a natural, uh, more authentic uh, avenue for me in comedy. Is this kind of like that scene in The Big Lebowski where they're in the bowling alley and all the pins? Exactly. So it's like a dream sequence? So I started writing and uh, Eventually, I started working with Kenny Hotz. You know, we both do our own projects aside from that, but uh, it's been a long journey, uh, an interesting journey, and hopefully, uh, it's worth it. I wanted to make a little confessional. I didn't want to jerk off with a rubber chicken. This is a joke. 